what would you say is your talent? It's not the only one. It's way broad, but it's not the best. The law of philosophy and the theology. So the two laws were in the, the to be Dominican. C'est plutôt la métaphysique qui m'intéresse. He's studying the seven virtues, the seven bases, two, yep. but not a specialist. Okay. Uh, the metaphysics is, is specialization. Bah, bah, the, the thème de la création. Hein? Human liberty. Human liberty. The point of his doctorate was uh, atheism mm -hmm. in Marx. C'est bien vu, il y avait des faiblesses. Oh, et and why think Marx these things? Yeah, why? First, okay. first reason. Did you believe in Marxism, or were you more teaching it? Uh, in Marxism, no, no, no. never. <laughs> Thanks, it's when the Catalan, it was impossible that the Catalan believe in Marx. How did you get from there to? The Catalan was a priest, a father, mm -hmm. and he's becoming father, okay. bishop, and Catalan. So what is the hardest part for someone to get back? to get into that profession. It's not going to really work. It's someone who wants to become a bishop, he will never be a good bishop. Interesting. He's responsible for all the, the Catholics there. So it's um, a responsibility you have as a bishop. And how many? How many you have? Um, it depends on the diocese. Uh, it could be up to a million. You have a million people that you're in charge of? N not always. Uh, it can also be just um, a few, uh, a few mm -hmm. thousand. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say is a dilemma you have faced your whole life? For immigration, for the immigration, for the for immigration, for You you were the uh, theological consultant. Can you explain a little bit about the service you were providing uh, the Pope? This person is text political. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult to say, um, to see what is right, mm -hmm. what is true. Also, same that the Pope John Paul II uh, uh, thing, you have to, 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 to read mm -hmm. and to see uh, it's good, it's not good, it's mm -hmm. bad, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. All the decisions that he has made. The theological point. Okay, hello, I'm Pascal. I will be your palm reader for tonight. Uh, the first thing when I was looking into your hands was. Uh, Oh, I'm exhausted. Wow, uh, this life uh, is demanding you a lot in, in many different ways. And uh, it's like um, uh, someone who went to war and he has several scars around. Uh, there were fights in your life that you need to, to go for. Um, for example, when I look at the index finger, can you see that this tone, it goes Yep, it makes this this curve, and when I see this curve who goes through the thumb, this one tells me I needed to fight too much against something. So uh, it's a strong, it's a strong pushing against, and some people get weak uh, or lose the fight, and like we said, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger and you came out stronger out of that so uh, you said in within you no way I gonna fight this and nobody gonna gonna kill me I I stand the storm so this is a strong uh, capacity within you that came through life uh, and it came out of first of defending you and fighting against and out of that you create a strong force in your life and uh, nothing can beat me uh, yeah. they can try but I know how to fight so this creates a very strong um, yeah, will force first few things that I notice is the long narrow hand the long fingers um, that some people that are very intuitive. The length adds mind, using the mind, where width would add physical, so this hand is much longer than it is wide, which would show very definitely this person is more mind, spirit, soul expression than physical body. 
material expression. There is a very strong inner Mars line, inner self. It's almost it's doubled. So the, that would add an inner protection, an inner shield, an inner self that they enjoy retreating to. And they really don't have very many worry lines or reaction lines. That would be the lines that radiate it out from the thumb. They have very few of those. And it's very difficult to live in the world and not get a few of those. There's several types of people that don't have them. And this type of hand is usually not the type of hand to lack these lines because they represent how we pick up on other people's energies, how we're influenced by others. And the lack of them would be usually not sensing what other people want, not caring what other people want. So this is someone that's not overly influenced by the world around them, by the material world. Their influence comes from this side of the hand, which is more spiritual, esoteric, and internal. So this person looks within a lot to figure things out, rather than other people, outside resources. But with the long ring finger, uh, the long ring finger has always been known in some way as the, the risk taker. Um, but the way you hold your knuckle here has a lot to do with how agreeable you are. And people that hold their thumbs this straight are very determined. Uh, they don't give in easily or up easily. When the thumb is held straight, there's more of a rigid holding their own position. So if some, this hand looks a lot stronger, especially around the thin amount of the thumb, so that would show a lot of inner strength, but I just, usually this area will strengthen when it's being used in a physical way. So I feel that this hand is being used physically and this one isn't. So there's a better grip over here in some way. There's a good, you know, really good chance that they walk with a, a cane, um, something to aid them. So there's some kind of gripping going on here that, that strengthens the hand. Que le nom de mes camarades qui sont venus pour la distance. Alors j'ai dit c'est intéressant. Voilà, je me dis fait, j'ai fait ma thèse sur les amis. Les Italiens. It's même pour les. It was better for all the world and all the world as Switzerland stay neutral. Okay. It was good for all the world. Yeah. Uh, thousands of, of, of Jewish people from Hungary to Switzerland. Right on. Okay. That's Switzerland. Okay. The long headline is concentration, patience, um, thinking deeply about things as well, thinking things through. When there's a little floater of a headline at the end, the end is the end result. So the beginning is how you get started, the middle is how you work through things, process things, and the end is how you finish things up. So for this to be like a little floater at the end, that's kind of like meditation, daydreaming, concentration to the point of shutting the rest of the world off. So this person can disconnect. And this is about the third marking that I've read that would show detaching from the world around them in order to, to be in their own space and in their own world. This person probably starts talking and doesn't really know what they're going to say until they say it. It's not, everything is not pre-planned. It comes from the moment. There's a, a straight line in this hand in that area, and this one has a bit more of a curve to it, but this adds good communication skills, and I feel that there's writing ability, that it expressing themselves with words and writing. Under the ring finger, there's a grid pattern or a grill pattern there in this hand, in the right hand, and that shows perfection. So no matter what they put out in a creative way, details are important to them, getting it done right, not making mistakes. And if people compliment them, they tend to shrug it off, kind of in a humble way, with a sense of, an inner sense of, I can do better. How often do you pray during the day? Two times a morning. And then in the evening, 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 and then in the evening. When I look actually into your fingerprints and I go into the soul energy, uh, there I enter in a complete different section of you. There I just see melting energy. It's just deep, it's tender, it's fragile. It's, it's a child that wants to be innocent. 
It's someone who wants to go through life uh, like a swan and keeping the feather white. And uh, how can you be in a world that is sometimes cruel and hard and still having the heart open? So that's actually your lesson this lifetime is not to close your heart, even people gonna hurt you. So five months prior to birth, you come with uh, the the theme, the movie is okay we are gonna hurt you on your heart and we will see if you are gonna close your heart or <laughs> if you are gonna leave, uh, keep it open so uh, you will be the master when you even people leave you, hurt you um, uh, cheat you or whatever they hurt you in any kinds of way in your heart can you still yeah. Trust, love, and open up the heart. They have empathy lines under both index fingers, very strong ones, which would show putting themselves in other people's shoes, picking up on other people's feelings. And the heart line aiming up towards the, the index finger adds trusting, idealistic, wanting to see people in the way that they want to see them, or giving people the benefit of the doubt. So kind of a person that naturally looks for the good in other people. So that's an interesting, I wouldn't call it exactly a contradiction, but it's an interesting combination. And one sense over here is like humbleness and putting effort into in, in self-expression and, and, and creative ideas, but never thinking one is like perfect or the best, uh, that maybe the best they could be at times, but not the best there is. And the humbleness is kind of confirmed in the setting of the fingers. The little finger and the index finger are set down a little low, and that's actually a curve is really normal, but it's rare to see. More often the little finger is very low, the index finger is sitting up high to compensate for it. And so this curve, this nice curve here, this person is comfortable with themselves. They don't have to act like they're better than they are. Um, they're not um, overly arrogant. They don't. Um, want any kind of an authority. There, there's, very, there's a humble person here and a kind of person, unpretentious, and they're comfortable with themselves. And a curving heart line is more warmth and affection, but the straight would be more logical and rational. So the, and then especially in the left hand, it goes pretty straight in a place. And that would actually the long straight heart line is humanitarian and kind of a love for all people or rooting for the whole the whole team rather than just one, but the heart line rising up is, adds a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, and the heart line rising up goes right into these empathy lines. So there's this person who can get close, personal, understanding, compassionate, caring, and then there's this other person who can back off, take a distance, um, move away from things, see the bigger picture, and, and become more intellectual, may, maybe even appear aloof. You have so many ways to, you can go in the upper world, in the universe, and there is no ending. You can dive into the deepest ocean, and you have so many ways to connect with the world outside, and with your inside, that sometimes it can be even overwhelmed with you. So, uh, I'll explain you how I say that. Uh, one part is this line here. And this is a line, we say, a line of clairvoyant. It's like you have a fine radar. It's like um, you just go in a room and you... There, there were, this was a fighting just here in the room. Uh, well, no, well, uh, I just feel that the energy is, is tense. So, you, you smell it, you feel it, this is this line. Uh, you have like three headlines. One part goes here, another part. So you have like three computers on your desk. <laughs> and, uh, and the challenge, all three computers are running and uh, giving you information. So there's a constant information giver within you. And on which computer shall I, shall I look in? So the challenge with that is um, um, having something where you can use these three computers. 
so that you not get end of being the genius is for you to keep your soul warm and not to get not to freeze in the soul so the more you can the more you keep connected with the deepness and the trust uh, of the feeling the more you you keep it warm and you get warm genius crazy good ideas and uh, and you fight out in the world to bringing this to bring this out in a way that uh, you can amaze people so the challenge is that you not get confused by yourself you create new you create a path where people can really show their inside outside and don't have to play a role outside so in the best case scenario you would be a person who do this inspiring people to open up themselves and getting vulnerable and you do this with a very uh, interesting um, brain power and creates a, a platform that other people you encourage people for open up themselves so you are one who, who can bond other people on expressing their feelings so if interfaith dialogue seems ineffective in reaching peaceful resolutions the fact remains that there are still certain values that can help Cardinal Codier, who worked on the Church's request for forgiveness during the Jubilee year in 2000, reminds us of this dimension. One wonders if there isn't something similar needed in the lives of individuals. Today the Holy Father is strongly emphasizing the need for forgiveness. If there is not the sense of pardon and forgiveness in the Jewish and Muslim soul, we will not come out of this conflict. And perhaps precisely there, Christians have something to say. The dogma with the rules would be more the index finger, the belief behind it um, would be the middle finger and the energy that goes into believing. And there's even kind of a grill pattern formed there by the vertical lines, which is the love of learning and the wisdom, and the lines that come in from the side as part of the girdle Venus, and, and that creates a grill, which is kind of an analytical thing. So wanting to analyze and understand um, what they believe in, not just blind belief, but they, they study it, they, they know a lot about what they're believing in. And then whenever the lines are more angled or straight, that adds intensity. And there, this would add a passion, a passion for quality, a passion for the highest standards. If, if this building was on fire or his house was on fire and he had to run out with five books, which books would they be? Is what? Is what? The Bible, of course. Okay, okay, other friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, too old, you can only do... <laughs> what is your purpose in life? Why are you here in life? Um, as for me, I love life, but uh, all the life is here, is here to prepare the, the death. To a, a bad thing, you um, only need one device. One device. Yes. But to have a bien for the totality. And for for, the, for good thing, same. We have to all have all virtues. So the vice is the devil. Is the is the, are you seeing evil? It's a personality to give the the, the vices. Yes. yes. It's not all the vices are not the devil. The virtue is the natural, the vice state of the wings of the service. Okay. I am with the man and the vice against. The more that you hold the virtues in your life, the more you have power to hold that power of each virtue. The longer you do that in your life, the more prepared you are. Okay. 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 He loves the virtues in all his life, yeah. but he loves God more okay. than the virtues. Um, is there any other uh, um, challenges or other Achilles heels? Between, between you mm -hmm. and God. If we want to depend on the old people, of, of the human people, it's, it all, it's, it's, relative. it's relative. It's relative. It's the success, the success, the success, the success. On the all things, it's with God. The lines under the ring finger relate to, there's talent lines, so they relate to natural abilities and skills and interests that uh, a person develops. And he has many of these 
in both hands. And the ring finger is almost as long as the middle finger. The ring finger is more about expression of self creatively. The people with that finger tend to like to put themselves out there, take chances. These lines running parallel, aiming up towards the ring finger, would show um, using, using these talents, but if their heart isn't in it, if they can't express it, fully then then it stops so that's a contradiction and any deep horizontal lines are called extra creases and usually you don't see one at the fingertip they're more often in the middle sections this would show uh, a slowing down so a kind of a blocking of that energy even though it's bulging so it's like everything that wants to rush out of this person there's also a constriction in the same place give hold back uh, present uh, again, hesitate, hold back. So they're constantly restricting themselves. And this area, uh, this would heart line, it's emotional. So there's a disciplining of self or a restricting of self. And the marriage or relationship line, I read that as a person's ability to commit or bond with someone. The more it's visible from the front side of the hand without having to turn the hand to the side to look at it, the more superficial the qualities they look for. It would add, it doesn't mean that they're totally superficial, but it would add a um, looking for outer qualities, people that dress similar, people that have similar ways of being, something similar attractive. These are my people, this is my clan, this is my tribe. And then it goes over and joins in with these talent lines. And there's something about performance, image, how they present themselves, ceremony. And look at the little finger curving in, actually overlapping. Um, that's interesting because that would show this is not a loner. Well, there is an enjoyment of solitude. And that would also add a privacy, being close to others, uh, private, keeping things to themselves. So if they're working with others with all this empathy and compassion, they, they can keep they can keep your secret. And the whirl on a little finger is not really that common. And people with whirls on their little fingers enjoy their own solitude a lot. They need some kind of space alone every day just to kind of clear themselves of other people's energy. They, they tend to not really like people to get right in their face to communicate. If you take a look at artwork, especially artwork from like the early Italian period, which would would be like maybe the 1300s, 1400s, very early 1500s, you'll see uh, many paintings of, of uh, holy religious spiritual figures with very long toes and long fingers and in the hands of the merchants you'll find the shorter fingers and the uh, shorter palms as well, wider palms and this is because the merchants were the ones that, as well as the the churches were able to afford to hire painters to paint them and to, or to to do the consignment work and as i hear myself re-describing him here i feel this person is a priest um, this is somebody that has put spiritual and the mind and the soul and, and inner qualities above material physical the world. In fact, if I divide this person's hand in half, there's much more going on on the uh, little finger side than there is on the thumb side. So this person, there's a lot inside this, this person that they, they want to express and, and put out into the world. So it's an interesting thing how you can connect performance, being out in the world, being in a, in a, in a world that is uh, artificial in a way, that has no deepness, and you want to connect also deepness, a kind of a spiritual flavor. Like uh, Dalai Lama, he's a rock star in one way, but he's a spiritual rock star. That connects deepness, deep messages for the people who touches them in the heart. And still be out in the public and ta-ta-ta-ta, here I am and I have my stage. Because this is the life purpose of you, is being a public person. This is the ring finger, the Apollo finger. So, uh, can you be extroverted out in the world and having a deep message that touches people? So, uh, sleep, take care.
nourish yourself good and but still keep on going you a man who who will even you 150 you much more younger as any teenager so you a man who never get old you you have such a fresh cool mind and you're so creative so you have so much also extrovert wow i mean passion when i look into your hand so uh, I would like to have a conversation with you and to listen to your stories. I hope you're going to live 150 years and tell stories and, um, and uh, inspire uh, the people.